yeah. It's your boy Ray Hugo. Yeah, you know. And we're back again. Hope is dope. Woo! Hope is dope, and I'm high, baby. And I'm high. Listen, I'm, I got a message today, and it's called Remove Doubt. Remove the doubt. Stop doubting. Stop doubting. Get doubting out of your spirit. Doubting is in your spirit. Remove doubt. Because you know what? If you stay stay calm, you be patient, things will work out. So remove the doubt out of your spirit. Remove the doubt out of your mind. There are many times where I was afraid that something wouldn't work out. I had this thing called fear. The fear factor. But there was a point in time where I had to get in a mind state where you know what? I did all that I could do. So let the chips fall where they may. And when the chips fell, everything worked out. And in fact, it superseded what I thought it it would do. It superseded what I thought would happen. And it worked out. So this has taught me to remove the doubt. You have to remove the doubt. Many times, we're in situations where it just seems very hopeless. But we have to remain in hope. Things seem like they're just not going to work out. There's just no way this is going to work out. I mean, it's just all jacked up. I mean, oh my God, what's going on? Like, nah, man, I I don't have it. I'm not going to be able to take care of it. Or the the, the thing is not going to show up. Or something's delayed. Oh my goodness. Somebody fell out, fell through. The situation's not going to work because the people in play fell through. Or... Oh my goodness, man. We don't have enough time to get there to do it. Or, oh my goodness. You know, all these things are brewing up doubt. And so we have to remove this thing called doubt. If we remove this thing called doubt, then we can rest in hope. And if we rest in hope, then we know rest in hope means to trust in the future result. We already know that. It's trusting in the future result. So you have to remove the doubt in order to 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 activate that faith factor, not the fear factor, that faith factor, that hope factor, knowing that it's going to work out. That's trusting in the future result. That's hope. You have to remove the doubt. And here's the other thing. You're going to have people who are going to doubt you. Ah, you're not going to be able to do that. Ah, you can't do that. There's a lot of times I've heard that with somebody. Ah, you can't do that. Oh, you're going to do that now? Oh, yeah, right. You can't do that. You're not doing that. That's doubt. People will have doubt, and then they'll speak that doubt over you. But if you know that you, you come from the Most High, and the Most High is not limited, that means you're not limited either. You're not limited on, on whatever it is that you want to do in, in your imagination. You can and you can express that imagination into the in this natural world, and there's no limitations to that. Because had there been limitations to people, they, there wouldn't be the things that you see today. This car I'm riding in, it was a whole bunch of haters, a whole bunch of naysayers, a whole bunch of doubters who thought that this car wouldn't be built. And the technology in this car wouldn't even come to pass or even work out. But I'm driving into now. It's working out. It's rolling nice. But this started out as somebody having an idea years and years and years ago of just the original car. You know, I'm just using this as an example. Somebody was doubting that that could even work. They're like, nah, we're going to stay with these buggies, with these horses. It's cheaper. And... You know, we just have to replace a horse every so often. But, hey, this is efficient. And somebody said, no, 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 no. I have this prototype here. We're going to have this car run on on fuel. And, in fact, 
you're going to be able to run for long, long periods of time without having to take a break with you with, when you're driving. And you're going to get there faster, in fact, faster than even what these horses are doing. In fact, we're just going to call it the engine's horsepower. Oh, you're crazy. You're going to call something like that horsepower. That, that that's, that's not going to work. You're not going to be able to do it. That's crazy. You're, you're, you sound crazy out here. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Let, let's see. I doubt it. That's how people work, man. So you have to go against the grain. You have to think against the grain. By holding on to your hope, holding on to knowing that things are going to work out. You have to know that. You have to believe it. Even when it gets crazy, you have to believe it. As many times I've gotten to a position where I just thought it just wasn't going to work out, man. Like, this ain't going to work. No, oh, man, it's not going to work. And I, and I was speaking that. But you know what? Every time I spoke, it's not going to work. It's not going to work because I'm speaking that it's not going to work. So I have to remove the doubt. You have to remove the doubt. Stop doubting. And here's the thing. If something doesn't work, that doesn't mean it can't work. It just means it just didn't work at that time. However, you can't be doubtful, man. You can't be doubtful. You can't let people and let situations and let your circumstances and your environment breed doubt in you, especially if it's something that you know you desperately want or you've driven to have or driven to succeed at or something you want to create. You have to hold on to your hope. You have to hold on to what it is that you you imagining. You have to hold on to that image that you have of what it is that you desire. Remove the doubt. And that's all I have to say. So again, to end this off, inhale hope. Blow out that BS. Because hope is dope. Peace.